A second coronavirus vaccine will soon be on its way to local hospitals and nursing homes. This afternoon, the Moderna vaccine got the green light from an independent panel of experts at the CDC. It is what doctors need to start the vaccinations. This follows yesterday's approval for emergency use by the Food and Drug Administration. And Lena, we're learning that Moderna vaccine arrives in Ohio next week. Certainly a celebrated move, though we are hearing of some frustrations tonight. Hospitals around the country are about to get a new wave of vaccines, this time from Moderna for those 18 and up. Like the Pfizer vaccine, it's given in two doses about a month apart. But unlike it, the vaccine doesn't need to be kept at super cold temperatures. So we'll uh, have Moderna in our hands probably uh, Tuesday. Uh, and we have plans ready to go in terms of uh, starting vaccination of our healthcare workers. Dr. Robert Salata leads the COVID task force at University Hospitals and says about 1,100 doses should be coming. While the head of Operation Warp Speed points out broader benefits too. Moderna vaccine can be shipped and stored at standard freezer temperatures and is packed in containers of 100 dose, doses each. This allows jurisdictions the flexibility to support hard to reach small and more rural areas. Yet there are now new concerns that vaccinations may have slowed. Across the country, at least 27 states are claiming the administration cut their promised Pfizer vaccination allotments for the coming week by up to 40 percent. It includes Ohio. In a rare Saturday news conference, Governor Mike DeWine teamed up with the U.S. Surgeon General to boost public confidence. It is our, our desire, our commitment, our goal from the federal level to get as much vaccine out as quickly as we can. I want people to understand this is the biggest logistical undertaking from a public health perspective, uh, likely in, in, in modern history. And so uh, there are going to be challenges, but we're committed to transparency. It does not appear that, uh, you know, the number that we're now being told, that's not going to slow us up uh, in regard to the nursing homes. We are on track there. The governor going on to say the government has cleared the National Guard to administer vaccines to the general public. The National Guard has been absolutely phenomenal. This gives us one more tool to use as we try to get vaccines out just as quickly as we can. Dr. Salata believes everyone who wants the vaccine should be able to get it by late summer, stressing they should for this reason. That uh, as many as 75 to even 80 percent of the entire U.S. population needs to be vaccinated before we get to the point of what is called herd immunity. And until that time says we should all follow the rules when it comes to masks, social distancing and washing our hands. And I asked Dr. Salata today whether you could combine the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, take one dose from one, another dose from the other. He said no, that has not been tested. The Cleveland Clinic confirms to us they are receiving the Moderna vaccine this week as well, with both UH and the Cleveland Clinic saying they're seeing the most COVID hospitalizations since the pandemic began.